If you're looking for a team to be a contender for a state football championship this year, be sure not to overlook the Portales Rams. For starters, they have plenty of returners, including senior Romaya Basaji. I'm the guy that always likes to have fun, but I'm also the guy that's like, oh, we got to win this game, you know, you know, get I'm the hype guy. The Rams also have an established head coach, an offense that can score, and a future Division I talent who pushes others. I have like high expectations for everyone. I want everybody to do their best. I don't care if you're like the last guy on the roster. Like I'm going to push you to do things you thought you couldn't do. He's um, aggressive, he's strong, he works hard, and he has all of the intangibles. Senior Phil Bleedy recently committed to play defense for Texas Tech. He's 6'4 and 255 pounds. I called Texas Tech and, and got a hold of them, and then we went and took Philip down there once they discovered who he was and stuff like that. And you know what, they, they felt the same way. They felt they were getting that, that um, special kid, you know, that nobody was able to, to recruit the same way, and, and he's in their backyard, so it was, it, it was awesome for all of us. Bleedy had over 50 tackles for the Rams last season. When it comes to defense, I just love, like, that like hitting people, just getting that, just that sound when I hit somebody. Bleedy is originally from Trenton, New Jersey, but a rough hometown neighborhood forced him to move to New Mexico. Actually, my older brother, he was living over here at the children's home, the New Mexico Christian Children's Home, and he was like really excelling. And like where I lived, it was like a really bad place, like a violent place. And my parents just wanted me to like get away from that. What I really like about being in Fortales is just the people, like the people are very nice and you just feel like home, like off the, out the get-go when you first come. Now in his fifth year, Bleedy calls Portales home, and his football family has a unique tradition of reading to the elementary school kids on game day. I love reading to the kids. This is like really fun just to see the smile on their faces and just the joy. And seeing them, seeing the joy in their faces, like bring joy to my heart. It's just really fun, you know, having fun with all the little kids. You know, they, they, they see us, they're like, oh, it's the football guys. And some of them are like, I'm going to be a football player just like you someday. These football players made it to the state semifinals last year. The Rams opened this season against Hope Christian on Saturday. One, two, three, seven. For the New Mexico Activities Association, I'm J.P. Murrieta. Are you living the life of an athlete? The New Mexico Activities Association brings you Life of an Athlete, a resource for students, educators, and parents to understand the challenges students face. Athletes, did you know one night of drinking will negatively affect your athletic performance for two weeks? Or that athletes who drink and do drugs are twice as likely to get injured? Alcohol's effects can reduce a high school athlete's potential by as much as 20 to 30%. Are you living the life of an athlete? Log on to lifeofanathlete.com to find out today.